Something little talked about by the project is our record on the Middle Heavens and its numerous fuel depot locales. These locations are the backbone of humanity and corporate expansion into and across the frontier, as well as the uncharted regions of space. One of these stations was known as Ryder Berra Fuel Depot. Located in the star system Gliese 1401, the station was close within the vicinity of the planet Tegera Mirrors. Positioned in mid-space, right on the border of controlled space and the frontier, Ryder Berra is a hub for movement and resupply of peoples and resources throughout this region. A fueling station, but basically a massive gas station, Ryder Berra was used to refuel mass haulers, colony vessels, essentially anything that would burn through a mass of propellant, escaping its home gravity well. The station was, simply put, massive. Ryder Berra possessed temporary short-stay accommodation for passing travellers, hauler pilots and crew, and the occasional colonist as well. On top of this, gallery services like food, storage and common areas exist and are patrolled by a corporate security force that allowed this station to house numbers in the hundreds and even at times thousands. In the year 2183, the depot was visited by a colony hauler. The hauler was suggested to have originated from Tigur Marias. However, our intel on this still remains quite limited. No matter the exact origins, this colony hauler was carrying with it several refugees impregnated by the Manumula Noxhydria, otherwise known as the Facehugger. This caused a swift and deadly outbreak throughout the station, leading to a number of vessels attempting to escape the station. While three were able to escape the chaotic slaughter from within, all other ships were held back to avoid spreading the contagion any further. For the ones that escaped, it's not known if they also took with them any of the species Xenomorph XX121 as stowaways, awaiting to infest the next location these vessels would dock at. The inhabitants and visitors of the station would quickly be ripped through and used to fuel the ever-growing scourge of the XX121 species, leaving few survivors of any kind behind. Around a month would pass as Wayne Lugitani would notice the situation and send a contingency of United States Colonial Marines to procure specimens of the creatures for research and development purposes. At the same time, the rogue android Davis and ex-Marine Zula Hendricks would venture to the station after uncovering Wayland yutanis leaked data on the infestation. Set on reaching the station to locate any survivors and bring an end to the infestation there. This company of two would soon become three, when they ventured to the station and quickly discovered the presumed final survivor of Ryder Berra, one Dr. Hollis. Hollis was surviving within the bowels of the station and eventually took aid from Zula and Davis. Unfortunately for the trio, they would quickly notice the presence of the colonial marines sent to extract alien samples. A complement of marines and at least three Wayland yutani employees were present, arriving within a Constoga class frigate. Zula and Davis release the infestation on the marines as an attempt to detour their efforts at procuring a specimen. They attempt to capture some of the drones via electroshock rounds from their M56 smart guns. However, this ultimately fails to adequately subdue any of the creatures before the marines can sustain massive losses. And only briefly are they able to and only briefly are they able to obtain the upper portion of a drone's body from the onslaught of metal teeth and pulse rounds. As the marines struggle with the infestation, Zula and Davis launch a torpedo from their ship, the Europa, destroying the dropship the marines had uh, arrived on and effectively stranding them from their frigate on the station. Following this, Dr. Hollis set alight the fuel canisters of the station, basically converting the entire facility 
into one giant explosive. This destruction is sufficient in eliminating not only the marines, but the infestation on the station and the station itself. Zula, Davis and Dr. Hollis managed to make it to a minimum safe distance aboard the Europa and witness the fall of the Wright Abera fuel station. Following the destruction of Wright Abera station, another would be constructed in its place, simply known as Wright Abera 2. The station held a very strategic and important point for travel between the inner regions of the Middle Heaven and the Frontier, and so it was only natural to have a predecessor. Let's just hope for the new inhabitants and the new travellers of this region that the name Rider Bearer isn't unlucky in any way. If you really want to support what we do here and gain a bunch of awesome rewards, consider joining as a Project Acheron channel member, like company representatives The Sixness, Sith Lord 906 and Jack Fleming Jr. Or like our team members, Raunchy, Ambrosia, The Ryan Smee and Carl from the Wargame Bootcamp. Until next transmission though, this is Project Acheron, bringing the knowledge and the power directly to you.